Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, uh... So for today's video, ito try natin kung ma-achieve ba natin yung Korean makeup look. Tingnan natin kung magiging Koreana ba tayo after this video. So for this video, I will be following the tips and tricks of Miss Tina Young. Gusto ko lang itry kung paano gawin yung Korean makeup look kasi, di ba, alam naman natin na sobrang flawless nila mag-makeup, sobrang glass skin, gano'n. Tingnan natin kung saan yung powers nitong mga makeup na naan dito sa akin. So, yung mga makeups ko dito, hindi sila gano'n high-end, ganyan. Pero, try natin i-achieve yung Korean look na sinasabi nila. So, sa first part ng video ni Tina Young, Tina Yong! Tina Yong! Tina Yong ako ng Tina Yong. Tina Yong. Sa first part ng video ni Tina Yong, uh, shinare niya yung skincare products at skincare routine niya. So, i-skip na natin yun. Proceed na tayo doon sa umpisa ng kanyang pag-makeup. So, nag-primer siya. Ang gagamitin kong primer. Ang gagamitin kong primer is itong Blur Oil Control Makeup Primer from Elana. So, dalawang ginamit yung primer. Pero, sa atin, isa lang. Okay? Mag-focus lang ako dito sa T-Zone kasi ito yung problem area ko yung tito. Tapos, spread out na lang natin siyang ganyan. So, next naman is foundation. So, akala ko, ang i-recommend niya is yung lighter shade. Di ba yun yung common natin na nakikita sa mga makeup tutorial sa Instagram, sa Facebook, mga ganun. Sobrang light ng ginagamit nilang shade ng foundation. Pero sabi ni Stina yung uh, you can use yung correct or exact shade mo, or half lighter than your exact shade. But, dahil wala foundation, dahil wala foundation, ang gagamitin ko is yung tinted sunscreen from Bello. Paghahaluin ko lang tong Bello tinted sunscreen at itong liquid concealer from Flormar. para merong coverage ng konti. Kasi yung concealer na yun ng Flormar, sobrang tindi ng coverage niya. This one is from Daiso. So yan, gawa lang tayo dito ng sponge. We blend. Tingnan natin kung ma-achieve natin yung parang cushion. Cushion na effect. Makikita nyo naman yung after and yung before, di ba? Du dewy siya, okay? Medyo effective yung ating pagiging inventor dito, no? So, yan. Mas may coverage siya compare sa pag yung tinted sunscreen lang yung nilagay natin. Oh! Di ba? Pakak! <laughs> Tapos, yan. Panoorin na ulit natin. Next naman is concealer. So, kung sa US, sanay tayo na halos buong ganito may concealer. So, sa Korean, dot-dot lang. Tsaka yung mga may mga dark spots lang. So, age rewind. So, sabi, piliin lang daw kung alin yung kailangan ng concealer. Kapag lahat kailangan ng concealer. Sabi ni Tina yung mas maganda daw na dot dot lang yung concealer para mukha ka daw blessed. Ano ba ang blessed? 
So next, powder your entire face. So, pa powder. Ang gagamitin kong powder is ito. Fonz Magic Powder. Ito yung pang sa-set natin. Set daw yung mga oil areas, mga under eye, ganyan. Hindi tayo magbe-bake, okay? So, gagamitin ko yung sponge na ginamit natin kanina. Sponge. Yeah. Ah, so, hindi buong face yung sa-set. So, nakapunsan ka lang po. So, ito yung usually na oily sa akin, yung, yung T-zone, tapos yung dito sa eyebrows, and then yung sa eyelids. Next, hindi daw dapat dark brows at hindi rin naka-art. So, ano ba yan? Okay, let's try! So, ang ginamit kong pang eyebrows is ito, the face shop in the shade black brown. So, yan. So, makikita nyo may arch pa siya ng konti. So, kailangan natin ma-achieve yung straight looking na eyebrows. So, gagamit ako ng concealer instead na shade natin. So for my shadow, I'll be using this Manaka Dark. This one is from my dad. Thank dad. So yun yung gagamitin niyang shade. Ang closer dun is ito. So all over the lid daw, bringing out to the crease. Medyo in-smoke niyang, ay in-smoke, medyo ginanan niya. Parang may cat eye effect. After blending this, is nagbigay siya ng dark shade. So, ito yung gagamitin ko na darker. So, di ba sa mga Americans, pag yung darker shade, pag ganun mo siya ibiblend sa outer. Yung sa kanila, sa dulo din, pero pag ganyan lang. Like, lalagay tayo ng shimmer. So, ang closer shade dun sa nilagay niya is ito. Gagamitin ko tong Everbelena Uncover Uncover Palette. yung lower lash pero dun lang sa main corner. Gamitin ko tong 208 angled eyeliner brush by Borgies. Yeah. 
So, gumamit siya ng dalawang shade. Isang dark brown, tapos isang black. Dahil tayo ay resourceful, gagamitin ko lang yung pinangkilay ko. So, hindi ko na lang ito. And I'll be using this brown shadow para smooth and out the matting highlight. So sabi niya, uh, mas magandang isuot is yung natural looking color na contact lens. And all I have here is brown, gray, and green. So feeling ko mas safe na yung brown. So I'll be using this color pop brown from contact lens pH. So for the lashes, I'll be using my natural lashes and I'll be using this volume, Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. After natin sa mata, we'll proceed naman sa contouring. So, according to Miss Tina yung natural looking lang and use a fluffier brush para mas natural yung application ng bronzer. I'll be using this Profusion na highlighter and bronzer. I will be using this shade in taupe para light lang siya. So, may sila nagko-contour dito. So, sabi ni Miss Tina, daw sobrang low. So, maganda yung medyo dito para medyo lifted or lifted yung itsura ng ating cheek. So, I'll be using this Wet and Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade, in the shade Mellow Wine. So, I think I'm going to So, I'll be using a fluffy, fluffy brush. Cheekbones upwards. After nya, next naman is lips. For our lips, I will be using this Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte in the shade Birthday Suit On and Best Day. So, the two shades na yung dito. Nahin natin yung light, which is yung Birthday Suit On. Then after nyan, sub natin yung best day. So this is like a highlight. Ngayon dito na lang. So that's our haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more suggestions, just comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!